For many years, humankind has been using traditional methods to predict weather. More often, the eye was the sole tool to observe the skies, but this method has proven unreliable. They are indispensable partners of key economic sectors like transport. Ancomet places particular priority on quality meteorological services for aviation and shipping to ensure public safety, improve efficiency, save time and cut costs. The latest technology to scrutinize the skies and provide weather forecasts with precision is the Aircraft Meteorological Data Relay, AMDA. It enables financial and safety benefits to airlines via data transmission and more accurate and timely weather reporting. AMDA is referred to as an acronym for Aircraft Meteorological Data Relay. Uh, which is really, in simple terms, the aircraft-based observations. Um, it is the program that we appreciate as the South African Weather Service, and in particular also aviation. We went into this program about 2004, which was really a pilot program, but uh, it has matured into a program that we are now using for upper air observations. South Africa is on the forefront of countries that have embraced this method. The South African Weather Service manages its SAMDAR program in partnership with South African Airways SAA, and the European AMDAR program EAMDAR. South African Airways saved between two to three million dollars in fuel over a one-year period due to enabled route planning. We've got 34 aircrafts that are participating but there is intention by our national carrier to get more airlines fitted with the necessary software to participate. So they are getting more um, air fleets um, that will participate in the program. The data that we receive here within the South African Weather Service and the more data we have from the AMDA or aircraft-based observations, the better the performance of the numerical weather prediction models for better for forecasting. AMDAR uses the Global Telecommunications Network to transmit meteorological data collected from aircraft to relevant users on the ground. Improved weather forecasting could help save many lives and provide 30 billion US dollars in economic benefits. So just prior to flight they can update the, the flight plan using the, the latest uh, weather information, the latest winds, uh, the winds ahead, whether it's tailwinds, then you make maximum use of the tailwinds. If it's headwinds, you actually avoid them. You're flying at a flight level with, with the least amount of headwind, thereby saving fuel. And fuel is one of your biggest expenses of, for any air, airline. It would be quite a, an advantage if we can have some more airlines in African region to participate in this because obviously South African Airways is not flying uh, all over uh, Africa so there's quite a few parts of Africa that can still be covered by MDA by other airlines as well when they uh, incorporate it into their systems if they've got uh, units capable of uh, providing the service on the aircraft as well. As air travel becomes more global AMDAR data will become increasingly beneficial for airlines and overall economies. AMCOMET has invested in meteorological services that yield huge dividends and underpin transformative development in Africa. I mean, South Africa is the only country within the continent that is currently participating on the AMDAR. We would encourage more countries to participate in the program because it is a very cost-effective kind of a program.